Welcome to all the viewers. This is Dr. Bookworm with a new series of videos in which we will be discovering all the fully funded Chinese scholarships for 2023. And this is the first video of this series program. In this series, we are going to explore in detail about how to apply in China for a fully funded scholarship programs, particularly targeting masters and PhD programs. Also, will include uh, opportunities for the BS programs. So it will be a full fledged series so if you are interested to pursue your higher degrees in china you should definitely subscribe to our channel and follow turn on the notifications for this particular playlist because it will help you a lot in processing your application for scholarships in china so in today's video we are going to discover about the ansu scholarship which is one of the most prestigious scholarship programs in china for masters and phd i also have been a uh, a winner of Chinese government scholarship previously for my PhD studies so I know all the process and from several years I have been teaching students regarding this scholarship achievement process so this series will help you out to better understand the Chinese uh, scholarship process uh, before starting the video if you have not yet subscribed to our YouTube channel do hit the subscribe button and press the uh, press the bell icon so that you can receive regular updates regarding scholarships, fellowships, internships and exchange programs abroad. So let us move towards the actual topic of the video that is ANSU scholarship. ANSU stands for Alliance of International Science Organizations. The ANSU scholarship for young talents is now open for 2023. Uh, it is a fully funded scholarship program for masters and PhD students. So 200 masters uh, scholarships are included in this program and 300 PhD students are eligible to pursue their doctoral studies in the two designated institutes that is USTC University of Science and Technology of China and UCAS that is University of Chinese Academy of Sciences both are one of the most prestigious institutes in China in order to pursue particularly the uh, biological sciences uh, degrees and many other degree programs that you can find under the tab of these two institutes so moving forward to the financial coverage of this scholarship program it is a fully funded scholarship so it covers all aspects of your financial needs during your stay in China it completely covers your tuition fee it provides a monthly stipend of 3000 RMB per month up to 36 months for the master's degree program and 6000 6, to 7000 RMB per month for the PhD program up to 48 months. So the PhD program is usually of 4 years and the master's program can be of 2 years and 3 years depending on the institute and your subject of interest. Also your health insurance is completely covered under this scholarship program. Application fees waived off. International travel allowance will be provided once for traveling from your home country to China and one-time visa or residence permit will be allowed under the scholarship program. Alright, moving forward to the eligibility criteria for the scholarship program. In order to be eligible for the scholarship, you need to be an international student. It means that you should not have the Chinese citizenship. Eligible applicants should be proficient in English. So uh, there are some changes to the English language requirements for this ANSU scholarship. We will discuss in detail in the later part of the video. Or if you have Chinese language certificate, you can also provide that uh, if your program is Chinese taught. For master's program, the applicant should be born before, uh, sorry, after 1st January 1993 or on 1st January 1993. For the PhD program, your date of birth should be ahead of 1st January 1988. So you need to abide by the age limit for both of the scholarship programs. Eligible applicants should meet the admission criteria for international students of USTC and UCAS. So in addition to uh, the scholarship eligibility criteria, you should also meet the eligibility criteria of your concerned institute. Eligible applicants should not take up other assignments during the period of their study. If you are currently uh, doing masters in China or PhD program in China, then you are not eligible to apply for the scholarship program. You are not allowed to apply for the ANSU scholarship in both USTC and UCAS. This is a very important point. You can only opt for one of these institutes and proceed your application with only one institute at a time. 
application procedure moving forward to the application process of this ANSU scholarship. So the application portal will be open from 20th October 2022 which is already activated and uh, you have an ample amount of time to prepare your application as the deadline will be 15th February 2023. Application materials uh, for USTC applica applicants you can uh, visit this tab for further details and for the UCAS applicants you can visit here for further details we will move forward to the detailed explanation in the later part of the video before that we will cover rest of the aspects application portal these are the application uh, portals for both USTC and UCAS you can uh, make your online application on these portals after creating your uh, login after signing up on these portals so these are the contact details in case you need any further guidance or information you can simply reach out to the uh, relevant institute uh, via these contact details also the scholarship management for ANSU and CAS and to us are mentioned here so if you need to uh, know anything or you have any query or problem you can reach out to them on these contact details so moving forward to the detailed criteria for application process for USTC first of all so here is the application guideline for USTC. Here is again the repetition of eligibility criteria. You can read it yourself. That uh, that is for USTC international students. Uh, you need to fill the online application starting from uh, 20th October to 15th February 2023. There is no need to finding a host supervisor while applying online. All your materials and documents only if your online application is complete will be sent to schools and departments for their reference. Online interviews are organized afterwards. Once you pass the interview, a prospective supervisor will be recommended. So this is one of the major changes that has been made in the process of ANSU scholarship. Uh, previously, previously you need to had a acceptance letter from the professor before applying your online application for the scholarship program. But now you just need to apply online, upload all the relevant materials required and your application will be uh, forwarded to the schools and the shortlisted students will be contacted for interview. A committee of uh, um, professors will be designated who will interview the shortlisted candidates and then the supervisor will be allotted by the school itself. Please finish your online application as early as possible for USTC to evaluate your application and remind you to correct or complete it when necessary. So it is always better to complete your online application within time, well before time so that uh, the institute have an ample amount of time to uh, help you out with the changes or uh, with the shortlisting process. Online interviews will be conducted between February or March. The online interview will be held by schools or departments accepting international students. The schools and departments will help those who pass the online interview to find a host supervisor. If the schools have other requirements, the detailed information will be sent to applicant via email. So the process has now become more convenient as you do not need to uh, approach several professors and try to convince them to get acceptance letter. Once you get shortlisted, you will be after interview. Uh, you will be all uh, you will be helped to reach out the suitable supervisor by the school itself uh, so the admission will be done in june or july uh, here are the details about online application uh, moving forward to the application material that is required photocopy of your passport is needed so if you are willing to apply for china make sure you have a valid passport with a validity of more than one year remaining a study or research proposal no less than 800 words curriculum vitae Two letters of recommendation from full professors or associate professor with phone number and email address. Make sure that the CV that you are uploading in your online application is in international format. The best format available is Europass. You can go to Europass website. It is a free website where you can create your CV in the European format that is internationally acceptable formats across the world. Foreigner physical examination form, it is a simple two-page form that you need to uh, get filled from an authorized doctor uh, of the government hospital and get it signed and stamped duly by the doctor itself. Applicants for programs instructed in Chinese must provide the photocopy of HSK certificate at least level 4. So if your program is uh, Chinese taught, then you need to provide HSK level 4. Uh, as a proof of your language proficiency and the applicants who are interest, uh, instructed in English means if your degree is, in, uh, is an English taught program then you need to provide a valid photocopy of IELTS or TOEFL result or other proof of their English proficiency except those whose mother tongue is English. 
so if you can also provide english proficiency letter that you can get from your uh, previous mother institute uh, in replacement to IELTS or TOEFL but it is always better to get an IELTS or TOEFL uh, certification it adds value to your application photocopy of degree certificates and academic transcripts for both bachelor's and degree master's degree program notarized by ministry of education so your degrees should be uh, well authorized and notarized from ministry of education as well as from any higher education department like in pakistan you need to get it attested from hec and then you can notarize your documents uh, to be used for this online application program so if your documents are not originally in english you need to get an english or chinese translation of your documents in order to upload on the online application online interview uh, there will be a committee designated by the schools or department that will interview the shortlisted candidates and then after the online interview your school will help you out to reach a suitable supervisor uh, then these are the details after admission these are not important right now fees and scholarship so this is the also the repetition what the scholarship program covers you can read out the details yourself you can also download the foreign physical examination form from here so the uh, requirements and the online application process is almost similar for UCAS and USTC but if you are interested in UCAS then you can go in this tab in order to know more about the application process so uh, here is the ANSU scholarship for international students call for application to study at UCAS you will simply open this tab Alright, so again you have the introduction, you have the coverage and uh, scholarship coverage and duration and eligibility criteria, you can read all these things yourself, application procedure, uh, almost the process is same and uh, there will be a repetition of things so you can read uh, it yourself, there are two calls for uh, admission at UKS, one is this one and the other is this one so you can read both of them in order to familiarize with the process of online application so these are the links to the admission portals where you need to complete and uh, duly fill your online application we will make a separate video that will deal with how to fill the online application for USTC and UCAS alright so if you are interested to know more about the organizations involved in the scholarship program like ANSU, CAS, UNESCO to us, USTC UCAS you can always access these links uh, to see further details and the research centers and faculty available uh, so that you can decide where you want to submit your application whether in USTC or UCAS uh, so I also want to clarify that there are limited uh, fields of study available in both of these institutes UCAS is uh, mostly uh, famous for its biological sciences studies whereas USTC also is inclined towards health side of uh, a scientific subject so you should first confirm that you have your relevant research center under these UCAS and USTC institutes before starting your online application you can always visit their website to have further details about this uh, so this was all about the ANSU scholarship we will make a separate video on how to find out the research centers and uh, look forward to subjects that are available in USTC and UCAS that will be our second video for ANSU scholarship this is the end of our first video with that this is Dr. Bookworm signing off thank you